Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Fabia, I'm a Scientific Business Development Manager at Biognosis, and today we'll talk about the analysis of TeamStuff Pro and mobility data with Biognosis software solutions. First, I will give you an introduction on Biognosis as a company and on our software products portfolio. I will then give you a brief overview uh, of our newly released software Quick, our software for MS quality control. I will then jump to Spectronaut, our software dedicated to the analysis of DIA experiments and which also support uh, DIA passive. I will then give you a spoiler on the improvements for DIA passive in the soon to be released Spectronaut 15. And I will then conclude by inviting you to the Spectral 15 launch webinar that will take place on June 15th. Biognosis was co-founded in 2008 by proteomics pioneer Dr. Rudi Ebersold at DTH in Zurich. Biognosis boasts over 13 years of proteomics innovation. We are inventor and developers of proprietary proteomic solutions. And to date, over 1,400 publications feature Biognosis technology. This is possible thanks to a strong R&D-centric mindset. Indeed, over 30% of our staff is R&D. With over 900 square meters of laborat laboratory facility, uh, laboratory and facility space, uh, we are one of the largest proteomics facilities in the world. This allows us to satisfy our growing customer base. We boast over 800 customers uh, around the globe. Our business divides into contract research serv uh, services and products. We offer complete software solutions for every proteomics application. Spectronaut is our flagship software for the analysis of data independent acquisition, DIA, and has two uh, workflows, a library based as well as a library free or direct DIA workflow. Spectrodive is our software for the analysis of targeted proteomics, such as MRM, PRM, and Shorequant. And last but not least, our most recent uh, software, Spectromine, uh, addresses the demand of modern DDA proteomics. Uh, Spectromine can search a variety of MS data types and is optimal for isobaric labeling quantification ILQ. All our software is powered by our database search engine, Pulsar. Our software uh, provide uh, unique benefits if compared to competitors. Our software deliver high performance and scalability. As such, they are trusted by the scientific community. And we are excited to see that over the past years, there has been a steep increase in the number of publications uh, featuring, featuring Biognosis technology and tools. Part of this success is also given by the ease of use of our software that have an incredibly uh, intuitive uh, user interface. And so if you would like to try out our software, please contact us at software at biognosis.com. We do offer trial licenses, tiered pricing, bundle discounts, as well as different licensing models. Besides our commercial software, we also have Quick, our free software for proteomics facility monitoring. Uh, Quick is an IRT kit based software. This means that you need to spike the IRT standard peptides in your samples in order to analyze them with Quick. Quick uh, actually allows you to monitor many instruments at the same time. And uh, it also provides uh, near real-time QC uh, readout plots. This is an example of an uh, identification plot where both precursor ions as well as protein groups are displayed. displayed. And in red, you can actually see uh, precursor outliers 
according to a user-defined threshold. We recently released uh, Quick4, which also features support for the passive data. And the benefit here is the use of ion mobility drift as early warning sign. So instead of waiting until the drop in instrument performance leads to a drop in the identifications, by using the ion mobility drift, which is based on the IRT standard peptides, you can actually timely intervene since you will notice a drift way before um, a identification drop. As I said before, um, Quick is free, so you can request as many licenses as you want at softwarediagnosis.com. Next, I would like to talk about Spectronaut. Spectronaut is our software for the analysis of DIA experiments. And as I said before, it features both a library based as well as direct DIA. Direct DIA is the direct search of DIA runs. So this makes the generation of a DDA spectral libraries optional. This means that you no longer have to acquire extra DDA runs for the generation of a spectral library with the additional advantage that you can save uh, instrument acquisition time as well as the amount of sample necessary for a given project. When comparing direct DIA uh, to using a project-specific DDA library, depending on the data set, we, we can actually observe that direct DIA performs as good as, in some instances, even better than uh, library-based projects in both uh, depth and precision. And this is possible thanks to a deep learning augmented um, direct DIA workflow. So how does the direct search of DIA data work? Direct DIA is essentially a two-step process where all possible precursor and fragment ion spectra are extracted from the DIA runs according to the um, correlation of their elution profile. Then uh, pseudo MS2 spectra are generated and are directly used for the database search. At this stage, the deep neural network uh, is used for scoring. Once the search is uh, performed, the library is generated. And here it is important to mention that, again, the deep neural network kicks in for IRT calibration. This means that uh, it is no longer necessary to spike the IRT standard peptides in the library for uh, IRT calibration. The generated library is then used for targeted analysis. So basically is targeted re-extraction of these same DIA runs. And here again, the deep neural network jumps in for a decoy fragmentation prediction. Here below, I'm referring to uh, two publications that showcase the high performance of direct DIA in both proteomics as well as site-specific phosphoproteomics. So what is new in Spectrum 15 in regards to DIA passive? I want to highlight three uh, major features. The first one is significant improvements of the direct DIA workflow for the passive with a substantial increase in the identifications. Then a library ion mobility predictions. So ion mobility prediction for non ion mobility spectral libraries. And third, uh, improved ion mobility data visualization and manual peak integration in ion mobility dimension. So Spectrum 15 comes with major uh, performance improvements, both at the identifications level as well as uh, speed. If compared to uh, Spectrum 14, indeed, both at the precursor and protein level, we can actually see an incre a substantial increase in the identifications. Uh, on average of, if we look into the benchmark, an average increase of 27% at the precursor level and 17% at the protein level. 
Uh, more identifications do not sacrifice speed. Actually, Spectrum 15 is comparably faster than Spectrum 14 in the processing of uh, Teams scans. The library ion mobility prediction allows the analysis of the passive with non ion mobility spectral libraries. So what you will see in Spectrum 15 is a parameter under the library generation setting that basically will allow you to enable uh, the deep learning algorithm for ion mo mobility prediction. This also means that you can process your DIA, DIA passive uh, experiments even with um, non-passive libraries. So for instance, libraries that were generated on Orbitrap instruments uh, can also be used. Uh, the ion mobility dimension can be predicted and they can be used for the analysis of the passive. So to show you um, the performance of predicted versus empirical libraries, we have used a controlled quantitative experiment. Uh, the data set contained 10 different mice from which uh, 50 nanograms of cerebellum was collected. And the UPS2 human uh, proteins were spiked at five different concentrations, uh, ranging uh, from concentration one to five, there is roughly a five, uh, a tenfold increase. Um, the samples were acquired on a Teamstoff Pro instrument uh, with a 120 minute gradient. And for the analysis of the passive, two separate libraries were used. One library contained empirical ion mobility data and the other one contained uh, predicted ion mobility data. And so what we have observed is that predicted ion mobility libraries deliver similar performance as empirical libraries. And this is true in terms of identifications where we can appreciate that the predicted library uh, identifies 97% of what is identified in terms of the level of protein groups identifications uh, if compared to what was identified with an empirical library. In the quantification plot, we can actually see that uh, after t-testing, we've been ranking the top 50 candidates according to the p-value. And we can actually see that uh, the two, the analysis with the two separate different libraries deliver very similar results. And among the 50 top candidates, uh, uh, roughly 20 with both um, analysis with two libraries were actually UPS2 uh, protein candidates. The last feature that I would like to talk about today is the mobilogram for ion mobility. Um, the mobilogram allows for manual peak integration in the ion mobility dimension. Um, basically, what you can see here is that by reintegrating a peak in ion mobility, you will also change automatically the retention time XAC. And the reason is that the retention time XAC is actually built from what is contained within the extraction, band, um, the extraction window uh, in ion mobility. So in this case, for instance, where we have two peaks and we decide to pick only the first one, uh, we will readjust the uh, extraction boundaries and automatically you will see how you change uh, the quantification, uh, the quantity in the retention time exit. And with this, I would like to conclude and invite you to the Spectronaut 15 launch webinar that will be um, held next uh, on June 15. Our uh, Spectronaut lead developer, um, Oliver Bernhard, will talk about all the new features and improvements uh, in Spectronaut 15. And our guest speaker, Andreas David Brunner uh, from the Max Planck Institute uh, will talk about a single cell DIA proteomics workflow using Spectronaut and Diapassive. You can register at biognosis.com slash events slash Spectronaut 15. And for any other inquiry, you can always contact us at software at biognosis.com. And with this, I'd like to conclude and thank you very much for your attention.